Good morning one and all. Today I am going to start with the module 3. IP as the IoT network layer and application protocols for an IoT. So let me start with the first point that is IP as the IoT network layer. In the introduction, let me start with the concepts to be covered today. The first point is discussion on network layer connectivity or referred as a layer 3 network. And the business case here in this, the business case for an IP is the first. So here we are going to discuss about the advantages of an IP network from an IoT perspective and we will introduce the concepts of adoption and adaptation networks. Next uh, we will go for uh, the need of an optimization. Here the challenges of constraint nodes and devices when deploying an IP along with the migration from IPv4 to IPv6 and how it affects to the IoT networks. A lot of things are there in this because as you know IPv4 and IPv6 protocols so it is going to change, a lot of changes are going to get applied when we are going to communicate with the different networks. In depth we study in the next couple of hours. Next point is optimizing IP for an IoT. Here the common protocols and technologies in the IoT networks utilizing IP and include IP which includes six low power personal area network and RPL next is at the end we will discuss about the profiles and compliances here some of the most significant organizations and standards what is involved with IP connectivity and life let us begin now with the business case. In the business case for IP, any technologies nowadays it is going to be with the concept of uh, business only trends where uh, the IP is going to play the major role. IP is nothing but an internet protocol. So let me start with the point. Here data is going to be from the from all the things is consumed, controlled and monitored by data center servers, either in the cloud or locations that may be distributed or centralized. Here we can say that when we are talking about the uh, things is nothing but uh, anything, anything that we will be going to connect in case of uh, IoT so data or we can say that in the business so IP is the plays a major role over here without the internet none of the e-business will be get executed when we say about the e-business it is going to have the control, monitor and consumed data is going to be present. So how this is going to work out in the next we will be going to see that. Next is uh, the system solutions combine various physical and data link layers call for an architectural approach with the common layers independent from the lower connectivity and upper application layers. We we'll study these things later in the presentations. So, where the IP is going to play the major role, IP is nothing but an internet protocol. The 
the major or we can say that key advantages of IP for internet of things so here we say that uh, there are seven there are eight can say um, advantages are there more than this also it is going to exist nowadays open first is uh, open and standard based here we can say that uh, the internet of things creates a new paradigm in which devices applications and users in a large set of devices and functionalities which guarantees the interchangeability and interoperability security management a lot of things are going to happen so for all these things a standard protocols must exist so here uh, we can say that uh, to make that standardization many standard development organizations are going to exist here that is uh, sdo that is uh, standards development organizations they are working on internet of things internet of things definitions frameworks applications and technologies one of that is uh, ietf that is called as internet engineering task force this is the foundation for specifying and optimizing the network and transport layers basically the idea is an open standard body that focuses on the development of the internet protocol should and related internet technologies and protocols next comes to the first time what do you mean by this first time a large spectrum of of access technologies is available to offer a connectivity of things in this last mile it is nothing but till end all the there are different technologies are going to exist things is nothing but anything anyway you'll be able to connect so when uh, if you want to connect even if the physical and data link layers such as some ethernet wifi and cellulars are widely adopted and uh, the history of data communication demonstrates that no given wired or wireless technology fits all deployment criteria it is true because some cases will be going to connect with the lay network some case will be going to connect with the wifi and some cell phone networks so data communication is in any standards that it is going to get applied communication technologies evolve at the pace faster than the expected 10 to 20 years of lifetime of an ot technology or ot solutions ot is nothing but operational technologies nowadays even whatever we are studying the iot it is uh, a long back to been come but now we are studying in the industry if you compare the industry in the industry iot 4 is there iot 4.0 technology is existing we are studying or we are implemented or we are studying iot 1.0 so there is a gap is there to fill the gap we need to apply our knowledge for the certification programs so that we will be going to get acknowledged with the current trends next here the layered ip architecture is 
are well equipped to cope with any type of